everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I have a very, very small grove order that I wanted to share with y'all before it wasn't relevant anymore because it's some of the awesome fall scents that they put out by Myers. So I wanted to show y'all those really quickly, talk about some of the things that I got last time in my order and let y'all know things I did and did not like about them. And then I tell you a few things I do and do not like about the actual grove site itself. So first of all, I want to go with the things I got last time. Of course, I got the Peony gift set, and that is sitting up in my windowsill right here, so you can tell I've been using it. Absolutely love the scent. I've actually already gone through the uh, surface cleaner, and I went back to one of my local stores, and I got one there because I didn't want to be out. So that stuff is getting a lot of good use. Always one of my favorites is that set up there. And I got some body soap for me and my husband last time. And my husband, you can see, if you can see, it's like flat because it is almost empty. And this was in the scent Cedar and Cypress. So I said that I wasn't sure if I liked this or not because it smelled very, very strong of tree. Well, I actually do. Once it's on his skin, it doesn't smell near as harsh. So I actually really do like this. And then for myself, I got the Magnolia scent. And as you can tell, it is all the way down to here. So I've been using this a lot as well. This is very, very moisturizing. I love the way it feels on my skin. It bubbles up a whole bunch. Like I feel like it like really, really sudsy and clean in this. So I really do like this. And I thought with it being like a more natural soap, that it wasn't going to have a whole bunch of lather and it did and I'm sorry but lather tells me clean so I liked the lather of this and I loved the moisturizing effects I had as well. The one thing I wasn't absolutely sold on was the Rude Beauty makeup wipes. They weren't that bad. I mean they cleaned the makeup off and everything like that. They were just a little bit on the dry side and a little bit on the rough side too. I do like them. They don't irritate my skin like the Neutrogena ones do, but as you can tell, I haven't used very many of them. Granted, I don't do my makeup very often either, but I haven't been reaching for these. I've been reaching for the other makeup wipes I have, so I must not like these as much, but I'm still going to use up the pack. Um, maybe by the end of the pack, we'll see if my views have changed or not and I rebuy them, but as of right now, they're just okay. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my order because I got something again that I got on my last order so obviously I must have liked it. And that item was the Method Squirt and Mop. I love the way this stuff smells, love the way it cleans. It is absolutely awesome but I have found that if you dilute it, it still smells just as good and it still cleans just as good. So when my other bottle is empty, I think I'm down to like here on it right now. Um, I'm going to put half of this solution in there and then do half in water to spread this out a little bit. And not that it was expensive or anything. It's only $4.99, but still, I mean, if I can spread out my cleaners a little bit, I'm gonna. Now I will show y'all the precious things I'm curdling in my arms. Curdling. Not curdling. Cradling, maybe? Hopefully it's not curdling in your arms. because. Man, maybe you need to get some deodorant or something. I don't even know. But what I'm cradling in my arms is the gift set that they were doing this time for the fall scents. So you could get this in the scent that I got, which was Acorn Spice, or you could get it in the pumpkin, and I think there was one more that you could get as well. All of this, all five pieces, was $22.90 which is not that bad because if you would have bought each one individually, you would have spent more than that. So in the gift set, they have the dish soap, the lovely multi-surface spray that we all cannot get enough of, hand soap, and then they sent a soy candle, which I've never tried out their soy candle, so hopefully I like this, and then a tea towel. I'll never use this thing. I mean, it's pretty. Maybe I'll put it on my stove and my kid can rip it down a second later and blow their nose on it or something, but I never know what to do with these tea towels because they're not absorbent. You can't clean up anything with them because they're too dang pretty. And what do you do with them other than put them out for aesthetics? And I can't do that with kids in my house. I just can't. So these are kind of wasted. So yeah. 
with the soy candle I am excited about. So I'm going to pull this one out and sniff it first and then we'll go back to the other stuff and we'll sniff the autumn spice. So this is an autumn fig. It smells very good. This smells very good, very strong of fig. That's a cute little picture on the front of it. I think this will look very clean sitting out. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think soy candles are supposed to burn longer than other candles. So hopefully this does, but I'll let y'all know because these things are pretty dang expensive by themselves on the site. So I don't know if I would have bought this if it didn't come with the set. So yeah. And then we'll go back to the acorn spice and smell that. Mmm. Now that is a fall scent. Smells a little bit like nuts, a little bit like spice, not like a cinnamon spice, just a nice spice. Like, I don't know. Like this just reminds me of Thanksgiving. It's a really good scent. I'm glad I got this one instead of the pumpkin. The pumpkin one I absolutely love as well, but I already knew what that one smelled like. And I know I can get that one again later, and I didn't want this one to be sold out since it's a newer scent. So I'm really, really glad I went with this one, and it looks really folly as well with all the little acorns and everything on the packaging. So that's going to look really cute sitting up in my windowsill once Miss Peony is done being up there. So that is all I ordered for this time. I know that's not very much at all, but I really didn't need to make an order. I just wanted the fall scents, and I just didn't want to wait for them. So to make it worth your while for watching this very, very short haul that gave you kind of no insight to their products, I'm going to tell you a few things that I like about Grove and then a few things that I don't like about Grove Collaborative. I love that Grove Collaborative tries to go all natural with their products and that they partner with other companies that are doing the same thing and bringing those products as well and it's not just their own products. And I have found several favorites since I have started buying from them, mainly Mrs. Myers and Method Cleaners. Um, seventh generation, I really, really don't think that they have the cleaning power that I'm looking for. Even though it is all natural, it just doesn't give that kick of cleaning that I need in my products. My absolute favorite scent that I have found so far would be the Bluebell. Very, very close second would be the Honeysuckle by Myers. My very favorite scent by Method. Hmm. Probably the Honeycrisp Apple, that one was really good. I need to get that one for the spring again. That one just makes your whole kitchen just smell so good after you've cleaned with it. So the way that the website works is that there's always like some kind of promotion going on where if you spend this much, you can get this kind of free gift. And if you have not put anything into your cart, they automatically select things that you've selected in the past or things that they think that you will like and put them into your cart to get you to that threshold. If you do not go in there and take those items away and put in items that you want or change your shipment date to something later because you really, really don't need anything at that time, then they're going to go ahead and process that order of all these mystery things and send it to you. That is the only thing I do not like. So as soon as I have received in my order, I go onto the website and I empty out my cart and make sure nothing is in there and then I change my shipment date to the latest that they will possibly let me, just in case. So that when I am ready to make an order, I can go in there and put things I want into the cart and change my shipment date to a date that suits me. So if you are new to Grove Collaborative, please keep that in mind that they do auto-generate your cart. Grove, if you ever watch this video, that is something that you can please, please change for us because not everyone needs $50 worth of cleaning products every single month just to get your free gift. And the gifts are absolutely awesome. They're always full-size items, which is great, but you should be able to choose if you want to make a purchase that month instead of them auto-generating your cart for you. That's just how I feel at least. So that is every bit of the tea I have on grow for you today. If you have a scent that you have fallen in love with yourself, either it be Mrs. Myers or Method or whatever it be, please send it my way where I can give it a try as well. And I will see y'all in the next one, guys. Bye.